Wendy Williams has contracted the coronavirus while battling ongoing health issues. Her daytime talk show broke the news on Wednesday, sharing in an Instagram statement, while continuing her health evaluations, Wendy has tested positive for a breakthrough case of COVID-19. Because of her infection, her show season premiere will be pushed back two weeks. Wendy has tested positive for a breakthrough case of COVID-19. Because of her infection, her show season premiere will be pushed back two weeks. Wendy has tested positive for a breakthrough case of COVID-19. Because of her infection, her show season premiere will be pushed back two weeks. The pandemic has taken us all where you were then. It's teach, it, it teaches us many lessons, but one of the ones that's most important to me is the importance of health and rest. You and I have been texting, obviously, a lot about health during COVID. And I know that you have concerns. That's one of the reasons you're not sitting next to me right here on the set. Yeah, by the way, you were my last guest before we went on uh, you know, we shut the studio down when COVID was first starting back here in March. And so yeah. I, I'm, I'm curious to know what your thoughts are right now, your biggest COVID worries, because you speak for a lot of America. I want to get back to dating, Oz, honestly. I had a date that night. I did your show, and then he was supposed to be coming over, and we're, we're laying in the bed watching TV and saying, oh my gosh, we're about to be on quarantine. And um, we liked each other enough. And then he became, well, his true self, which, you know, this COVID has shown a lot of people's true selves. COVID has shown a lot of people's true selves. COVID has shown a lot of people's true selves. He weakened under the pressure of, you know, how am I gonna pay my bills? You know, my, my job is not working right now. So let me push you on this hot topic. In fact, it's the hottest topic in medicine right now, the COVID vaccine. I just yeah. got vaccinated. Uh, oh. I did okay. I didn't have any issues. There I am. Notice the, the huge biceps muscles and the pectoralis, by the way. Mehmet, you know you are a very sexy man. <laughs> so, are you planning on getting your vaccine? No. No? No. I don't trust it. No. I don't trust it. No. I don't trust it. I've never gotten the flu shot either, though, and you and I have talked about that, and several of the doctors on my team talked to me about, Wendy, we'll get the flu shot. I've never had the flu, I'm not getting a flu shot. I very rarely get a cold. I never have headaches. I don't take an aspirin because I feel my heart murmur or something like that. I'm not getting, no, I don't trust it. There, I said it. I don't trust it. Well, I gotta say, I, I disagree. I think the vaccine is safe. It was studied carefully in 75,000 people, didn't have any major issues. Tens of millions of people are getting it now, not seeing big problems. Uh, and I gotta say, it's worked so well. I think it is a very wise move, which is why I really think you should get the vaccine. I, I think you'll feel safer if you do as well. So, so are there questions that I can answer for you about the vaccine that might make you more comfortable? I'm just- No. None. No, because I watch you talk about it. I've seen you talk about it a lot. Um, I've read your site. I see you talk about it. I've seen you talk about it with Rosanna and Lori and, and everybody. And you know what, maybe, and I'm not saying I get it for this reason, but if there was a woman who was black like me, who worked in a stressful job, but also did not wear that stress at home. You know, this is a stressful job, but I know how to go home and, you know, just let the stress go. Uh, if if she's, she would have to be like me. She would have to be like me and my age because that vaccine affects different people depending on your background and your diet. So if someone like you, similar age, similar types of tension in their life, uh, got the vaccine and did well, would you get the vaccine? No. Well, you just said that's what it would take for you to get past your fears. Doesn't mean I'd get it. 
Listen, I'm still wearing masks. I was a germaphobe a bit, even before all this happened, you know, the, the um, COVID. Uh, so I, I will not move past wearing masks. I will be wearing masks probably for the rest of my life. Uh, I now live in New York, which, you know, I know the, the, the trash men do the best that they can, but, you know, there's a lot of pollution. I'm not eating on the sidewalk. I don't like sidewalk cafes. I don't want the car exhaust in my food, nor do I want somebody having a heart attack at the wheel, jumping the curb and killing me while I'm enjoying a crepe. All right. Well, uh, I, I, I'm not. I, I can't. You, you doctors, you talk a lot of hocus pocus to me. And I go home and I think about it. And then I come up with my own decision because only I know ultimately what's best for me, unless you can show me the proof. You know what I mean? You get a good old colonoscopy and then they tell you exactly what's up there in your booty and stuff. And you know, that you don't have colon cancer and and you need more roughage or, or you need less of this or less of that. I don't have irritable bowel syndrome, which is what a lot of doctors told me when I was going through, you know, my um, situation uh, with not being able to make a number two. And finally, I was diagnosed with, Wendy, you just don't make regular number twos. I was like, I eat all the right food. I've stopped eating cheese. Uh, you know, I, it's not, it's, so I take a Linzest a day, the best pill invented. And I go regularly and 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 I swear by it. And lymphedema. Do you know how many doctors I went to who thought that I was um, swelling on my feet and ankles because of, you know, a poor diet, um, swelling on my feet and ankles because I stand on my feet too long, swelling on my feet and ankles for various reasons, to which only to find out that I have lymphedema. Yep. Yeah. So to be Go back to vaccines for a second, because what you say and believe is so important to a lot of people. I mean, millions and millions of Americans are gonna say, Wendy Williams didn't get a vaccine, so I don't wanna get a vaccine. So let me just ask you, if there's anything that could happen that would make you feel comfortable, 10 million people get vaccinated without a problem. Your neighbor gets vaccinated as sibling, your son gets vaccinated, someone that's dear to you gets vaccinated and does well, that might make you think, you know, just to get past the hassle of having to lie on my back, recovering from COVID-19 or maybe not recovering, uh, is not worth the risk that I might actually consider this vaccine. I'm not getting the vaccine. There Listen, 10 million people and more have the flu vaccine and how many people per year catch the flu? You know, uh, I, I, no, I'm not getting the vaccine, Dr. Oz. I'm not. I don't trust it. I don't trust it. I don't trust it. And is there something in particular you don't trust about it? The fact that it was made quickly, the fact that we don't have enough follow-up, what, what, what specifically is bothering you about it? Doctors are really smart people, but doctors don't know everything. And that's been proven as well. I'm not getting the vaccine. Yes. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't get the vaccine, everybody watching. I'm just saying, I'm not getting the vaccine.